Okay, yeah, go with your introduction first. Okay. Good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Siddharth Jain, and I have done my schooling from Saint Anselm Senior Secondary School, Bilwada. Then I went for my graduation to Central University of Rajasthan. In year 2017, I qualified IIT JAM exam, and after that, I went for my post graduation to Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. There, I completed a project on proteasome activation in novel strategy for treatment of diabetes. is mellitus and after that i have qualified csi net and gate exams in year 2021 and recently i am preparing for the government job okay so which common jobs are you targeting in actual ma'am i am targeting the jobs which are based on the science like scientist jobs especially which are uh, concerned with lab okay so how did you uh, you have already qualified i think csi or utc net Why didn't you to go for PhD and uh, go for the teaching sector and research? Ma'am, actually, when I was in IIC, my the degree was not simply MS; it was integrated PhD degree, and I have worked also there for four years, and I have took taken the quit option. So means I have taken quit from the PhD only because the scenario of the PhD was changing, and I was looking for a suitable job so that I can get settled down. so that's why okay so can you tell me what you do you know about central pollution control board yes ma'am central pollution control board is a government body which was formed in the year 1974 under the water prevention and control of pollution act 1974 and it was given the powers for the control of water pollution that time and in year 1981 it was given the power of air pollution also now in the present scenario central pollution control board is concerned with the different type of pollutions which are present in the india like air pollution noise pollution sound pollution soil pollution and then also the plastic and waste management also is concerned with the central pollution control board and th this is the primary role that they play second role that they play is they they conduct extensive research on the abatement of the pollution and try to devise the plans which can minimize the sources of pollution and also minimize the effect of the pollutions that are happening and third thing they control the state pollution control boards and advise them on the various matters and also they conduct various programs for the awareness of the people around the country to overcome the effects of the pollution okay great uh, who is the environment lady of india do you know that no ma'am i don't know i will look. okay and if you have to tell me like uh, the three most polluted uh, states of india which are those okay so the three most polluted states are one is the union territory delhi which is the most polluted right now and if you look at the state then the maharashtra is the polluted state and then bihar is also a polluted state okay minister of pollution for india that is that might be aware minister of pollution no ma'am pollution minister is not there but minister of environment and climate change that under which it comes so that minister okay ma'am i will revise is once i have read that ministry but i have forgotten right now okay uh tell me one thing like even you have told me three most polluted states so obviously there are the states which have least pollution or which are considered as a clean ones which are those so, so the among the clean states one is the indore which is the most cleanest state of the india and then if we look at the city of the india So that lies in the Madhya Pradesh. Most of the data that accum that is accumulated. So from that point of view, the states are like Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, and Karnataka or Kerala. We can say these are the least polluted states. Okay. So Dan, tell me about your strengths and weaknesses. Okay. So my strengths are like I try to face the challenges from the front, and I always try to complete the work which is assigned to me. even means i try to face the challenges and i try to complete this is my first strength and second thing i always tries to help the people even if at the loss of my work so that sometime my weakness also and third thing there i am not able to focus on much on physical 
activities because of my studies so because of that i'm lacking in the physical attributes so that's my second weakness okay uh tell me about your hobbies okay my hobby is cooking man you want to be relate to the environment right so any of the activity you have done for the environment okay mam for not as on the public platform but if we look in the means my daily schedule then i try to make the things cleaner or i try to make means even the i try to participate in the activities which are happening around my society like for the cleaning activities recently in on the 1 october that swachh bharat abhiyan mission was there so i try to participate in that so like this and also i have in my, during my means college life i have participated in tree plantations and all these activities also with the help of nss although i means uh, it was a short period of time of two months but i tried to join that time so now where do you see yourself in next uh, 10 years i want to become a successful scientist in india and i would like to make some advantage of my knowledge to the public so that i can be means proud that i have done something great in my life see you want to be a great scientist tell me three qualities three positive traits that you have that make you apt as a scientist that you can be an asset to the organization also okay. so first thing means i am a brilliant student and i have a knowledge which comes along with my curriculum and the exams which i have qualified so that justify that means second point that as a scientist we should try to bring hope so i am always positive and have positive attitude towards the situation so this is my second trait and third trait which i think is that scientist should never give up so like i never try to give up on the situations so that's my third trait so don't summarize your personality in just one word like my meaning successful means siddhat means successful who is prosperous so i think that's the thing which suits my personality okay great so so now there are some good things in you that you have read the context very nicely uh the little bit of improvement which i want is first in your confidence and second thing is does your uh the content can be improvised like when i told you about three traits like three things which are very important in a scientist you know like patience everything is very essential and uh, the it should be the scientist should be very good learner also he should be ready to acquire lots and lots of knowledge rather than telling that i was a brilliant student and brilliant is all the word for the scientist that's not a right one okay so what are the three traits three qualities which are very important and you can be a set to an organization it can be ma'am first i am a very good learner second i am very much practical or you can say uh, i'm practical in my approach or logical or rational thinker because that is something required last but not the you least i require you know, practical and positive in my approach yeah because yeah i'm thinking exactly i'm just giving you a skeleton you have to change it now okay, okay. okay it's not the exact words you can make a good learner fast learner inquisitive person so i'm just giving you a sample of the words you change it accordingly okay, okay. so it can okay. be good learner it can be your what the way i told you rational thinker logical thinker something that is required patience is one very important thing because obviously mm -hmm. there are some places where you have uh, mean to say do a lot of research and you have uh, got some of the negative results also but then that attitude ne should never be there so it is optimistic you can call it out or you can say it out as a the one which i told you okay so this is a mixture when i told about your introduction also go for a very you can say research oriented like it would be like good morning ma'am i'm siddhant i hail from city this coming to my academics i've done my graduation and post whatever you have done academics and quantity and apart from my academics you could discuss about some basic project apart from basic project also any achievement you have back so far okay so something that if it related to research or some this related you can actually think about it go for the documentation again there were some questions which you were not aware about it very apt about it okay so you have to visit the website again like uh, what are the website changes you would recommend no, the thing was that you asked the minister of pollution so yeah this, this post is there means i'm confused because i didn't heard because ministry of environment and climate change is there under which the central pollution control board also works so exactly. that minister is there but minister of pollution means as such i have not heard so that's why i was confused
you just check it out uh, there are some ways like we just normally call it ours even it obviously it comes under the ministry only but sometimes we just regard it as a minister of pollution so when we are just in vocals and all we just say it like that right so that something so you just read the documentation like three polluted cities three which are the uh, recent ones what is the project am i audible yes ma'am now you are audible in between yeah i suppose sir yeah so what are the you can see the favorite projects even cpcb is handling number of so that i guess your uh, we will getting pause again and again maybe your network is blurry at your side mom one second i will go outside if the yes ma'am mom yes ma'am now i think it will be clear okay so you understand whatever the perspectives i am saying you yes ma'am like means the Three cleanest cities, three polluted cities, so that means if they are suddenly. And what are the recent projects, that, like the projects which are being handled by CPCB, which is your favorite projects? Like what is the green room, uh, green war flag, which is being handled right now by Delhi Environment okay, Minister? Okay. Okay. So, generic whatever the news is going on, like if you have heard about the green war room, so that is a kind of a pollution related activity which is going over there, which is very much prominent in news also. Okay. Okay. Ma Okay, so just check it out and then discuss again. Go for the agenda sir for the documentation and Kavita ma'am with the case studies and all that stuff also. Okay. 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 Take care. Thank you.